Hi there, marketing research students. In this brief tutorial, I'd like to show you how to use the GFK University Reporter for basic marketing research. As you see here, I've already logged into the system. And in this example, what I'd like to find out more about is cars. We could probably start in the automotive category here and navigate to information regarding subcompact cars or we could search the entire study. I'm going to just type in the word subcompact and search. And in this case, we easily find that there really is uh, an information about people uh, looking for subcompact cars. And reading the information we see here, it appear appears that we can find out information about the type of people who already own subcompact cars. After running our report, we get the basic default report that typically comes out of uh, the GFK University Reporter. Report type standard, meaning it's looking at the most current year, which in this case is the 2014 spring report. Our base is all US adults, 18 and over. That sounds fine. And then for details, right now we have subcompact car, any vehicle, so whether they currently own it or lease it. If we look over here to our report, we can see that our total base is approximately 237 million uh, US adults. It's estimated that about 36.6 million adults own or lease a subcompact car. For the detail, we can see that of all people who have subcompact cars, 100% of them can be found somewhere within the total, which is a bit of a trivial thing to say. In the target, we can say approximately 15.48% of all US adults drive a subcompact car. This number is simply taking the estimate and absolute number here as the numerator and dividing it by the base total here. For the detail column, it becomes a little more clear how to interpret this if we look at our next two rows, men and women. Notably, if you look at the detail percent here for men and the percent here for women, you should be able to tell that these two numbers add up to 100%. What that means is we can interpret the percent detail column the following way. If you take all of the people who own or lease a subcompact car, 49.97% of them will be men, but 50.03% of them will be women. If we look at our index values here in the far right column, index values give you a sense of how people who meet the criteria displayed in a row uh, match up with the probability that they exhibit the particular behavior under study, in this case some compact car ownership, relative to the base. In our case, the base is all US adults, 18 and over. And we can see here, if we look at our total, the index value of 100 is the baseline. So whatever the probability is that somebody owns a subcompact car who's a US adult, we normalize that base uh, so that the index value is 100. And we can see here that the exact probability is 15.48%. Index values greater than 100 tell us that someone who meets this row criteria is more likely than a typical US adult to exhibit the behavior. Again, in this case, owning a subcompact car. So we can say that if somebody is a male, they are slightly more likely to own a subcompact car than just an average US adult. More precisely, we could say males are 4% more likely than the US average to own a subcompact car. Expressed another way, we could say males are 1.04 times more likely. If we look at women, we can see that a woman is slightly less likely than the national average to have a subcompact car. And we could express this as saying a woman is three is expected to be 3% less likely than a typical US adult to have a subcompact car. Another way you could express that is saying a woman is 
nine, seven times as likely as a US adult to own a subcompact car. Now, let's look at how we can combine these rows of information to dive deeper and learn about our particular, a particular segment of customers. Let's first draw your attention to individuals based on their education. If they graduated college plus, we can see that they drastically over-indexed the US average on owning a subcompact car. <laughs> apparently, apparently having a college education uh, might mean that you still drive a very small vehicle. Let's use some of the advanced features in the GFK University Reporter to investigate more nuanced segments of potential customers. I'm going to click on the gear here under Reporter Options. And you'll see we have a bunch of available targets that we could dive uh, deeper and add to our report. This is the selected targets. This represents all of the rows that we already see in our report. I'm going to shift, hold the shift key and select everybody, all, I'm sorry, all the informational rows here except for the total and clear them out. I'm only clearing them out because it'll be easier to see the results that we are uh, about to investigate. I'm going to bring back in just those people who graduated with college or plus. And then I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. And what I'm looking for is individuals who watch a lot of TV. We have an available target here called TV Total One Heavy. Notice that we have five TV Total groups. This group here is the upper quintile of TV watching. So maybe if I was interested in buying some uh, media for a subcompact car that I'm selling, a reasonable question I might want to ask is, are the kind of people who buy subcompact cars the kind of people who watch an awful lot of TV? Now, another thing I would like to find out is, are people who have a college degree or better and watch a lot of TV the kind of people who are likely to be subcompact car drivers? Right now, I can't combine these two. But if I select both of them, that was holding the control key to select both, and then I right clicked, I can combine these selected into a target combination. And for my combine option, I want somebody who is both college educated and, so all of these items, and is a heavy TV watcher. I'll give this group the name college heavy TV, select OK. And now we see in our report here that I have total, I'm gonna move this to the bottom, those who are just college educated, those who just watch a lot of TV, and then what, those who combine both, which we expect to be a relatively small group since they have to meet both of these criteria simultaneously. This combining option is very powerful. If you ever, you can also combine options by starting over here on the left-hand side, as so. If you do that, just keep in mind that all of your new special combinations will be available at the very bottom of your report. Let's go ahead and run this and see what we learn. Well, looking at this report here, we see that people who have a college degree or better are much more likely than the national average. In fact, they are 1.26 times as likely as an average US adult to drive a subcompact car. On the other hand, those who are heavy TV watchers are quite a bit less likely. They're 30% less likely than the average US adult to drive a subcompact car. However, if they are college educated and they are heavy TV watchers, they are 13% less likely than the national average. So although they are more likely than those people who just watch a lot of TV, if we add in the criteria that they are, uh, have, must have college degrees, they're a little more likely, but still below the national average. Keep in mind, if we are looking for all the people who drive subcompact cars, which is 36.6 million, less than a million of them actually meet the criteria of being heavy TV watchers with college degrees. Indeed, only 2.5% of all people who own subcompact cars meet this criteria.